Hello again, and this is the second video related uh, regarding uh, core data. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how we use the model, how we create the classes, and hopefully how we use it in your code. So the first thing we need to do is that we create uh, an app, a single view app, and then we click on next. I'm going to give it a name, which is going to be core data example KV. Now, here is what I was talking to you about, which is to use the core data framework in your app. So if I click on next and click on next, and I'll show you a few changes. I might have had the same name. No, I'm all right. So I'll show you the difference between this app and the normal apps that we used to create before. So for example, if we look at here, you'll see that uh, we have in the app delegate few things extra that we didn't have in the regular. Uh, all right. First of all, you have all these objects, these methods, functions, the same, but you have a section related to core data. And some of the terms that we've used before, when I was talking to you about it in the PowerPoint presentations, they're already here. For example, the managed object model. Here is your managed manage, uh, managed object model to get the model, and and it's important. One important thing here, which model are we talking about? You see this? This is the model name that was given to us, which is usually the same name as your app. So this is the model that we will be using in our app. Okay, so that is your object model. Remember, when we were talking about the model. This is your object model. And it's a variable with a, with a closure to that give me back the model in your in the in the core in, in your app is your persistent coordinator that we mentioned briefly here's your persistent object uh well coordinator we don't have the persistent object but it says in here also but the other one that is important is what your manage object context so to get your manage object context i'll use the app delegate to get to obtain access to it all right and finally is how we save the context. So these are all new, but they're all important related to your core data. Here's the model, the one that we're interested in right now, and here's your context manager or object context. All right, so in addition to this, what you have here, it created the model for me. The model allow me, as I was telling you about, it allow me to create your classes and your entities. Right now, I don't have an entity, so I'm going to create a quick entity quickly here. We we'll click on plus. I'm going to call this store, similar to the example that we had before. And now you can add your attributes. So I'm going to call as name for the name of the store. And then the type of this is going to be uh, string. Then I'll say S um, description. Again, it is string. All right. And we have another one, which is S image. Now, this is different than my previous example where we use a string. Here, I'm going to use, in addition to the all these other types, we have binary. By the way, all these are just similar to any relational database. Uh, and then here you have what we have is what we call binary data. And binary data is used to store things like images, video clips, uh, audio, and things like that. So I'm going to have binary data. I'm going to add two more fields, just like our previous example, as latitude. And here I'm going to as latitude. 
and here I'm gonna make it again string plus s longitude and I'm gonna make it string again so that's the first step all right now if I have other tables you can create relationships we're not gonna create relationship yet but maybe in the future in a more advanced example I'll show you how we create relationship between two different entities and the context manager uh, context um, object manager or the object the uh, managed object context context will manage all of that for us all right so what's next after this what's next is that you generate the classes that you're going to use in your uh, application so I will have a class called store. In the past, we used to create the class ourselves. We used to say file. We can use. We used to say uh, file new file Objective C. I'm sorry, Coco Touch. Click on next. We say NS object. The type of the file NS object, and then we give it the name. Right. Well, we don't need to do that anymore here. And when we're using core data. All you have to do, you select your entity, and from here, under editor, you can say create NS manage object classes. That was what I was referring to in, your, in the PowerPoint presentation. So you select that, and then you click on, this is your model, core data model. You click on next. What is the name of the entity that you want to create? Which entity you want to create? If you have multiple, you can select which one you want. And then you click on next. Now it'll create, this is important. Make sure you select the language that you want to use. Either use, you can use, uh, in, in our case, we're using Swift. So I'll use Swift and I'll say create. Now notice it created a file called store.swift. What is the name? What is the type of the file here? NS managed object. Remember when we talked about NS managed object, they're basically objects that are representing a row or an entity in your uh, application. And this looks familiar, all right? But for the image, the type of that object, we use NS data. And as data represent what represent the uh, data binary data in the in that storage, and they're all managed. Notice this keyword. I don't have to do anything with that. It's already created. Now you can have other methods if you want. Maybe in other uh, examples we will do that. But you can have your own methods here either uh, too or functions. All right. So that is your classes. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to stop here with this video. And in the next video, what I'll show you is that how we create uh, a table of view. And that table of view will use, will load data from this class. All right. So we'll stop with this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Probably it's too late here. I'm not going to create it now. <laughs> I'll create it tomorrow morning, hopefully. And uh, I will see you in the next video. All right.